Which brand of the strings is my favorite? Well, basically, as long as the strings are fresh, I don't really care about it. I actually used uh, the Harley Benton uh, strings that I purchased for 99 cents for a package. And I can say that those are best sounding strings ever, but they have decent sound and I can uh, work with it. They wear out pretty fast, but uh, well, I can't expect anything else for strings that cost only 99 cents for a package. As for the rest of the brands, for my taste, they sound pretty much the same. And the only reason why I decided to use Elixir strings is because those are coated, meaning that the strings are protected from humidity, sweat, uh, dirt and all the factors uh, that uh, kill the strings. I prefer to play music instead of st spending the time changing the strings. But how long does it take to kill the Elixir strings? I made small test. I took uh, two guitars. On this one I practiced uh, about uh, six months, at least one hour a day or sometimes uh, up to two hours a day. And uh, once in a month I made a small record. And here is another guitar. I put exactly the same uh, strings on it, but it was just staying in the corner. I wanted to test if the humidity and oxygen uh, make those strings rust, because uh, with other brands I had this case where I put uh, brand new strings, but uh, I never played this guitar and about half a year later those strings were completely rusty and I had to change them. So. This guitar was on the plate on the end of the month, uh, so I could actually uh, try uh, to record the samples with it. So, how did I record it? Of course, I can't uh, keep exactly the same amp settings uh, over the month, uh, so I actually used my DI box and uh, direct, uh, recorded this signal directly into my sound card and then I reamped all the samples afterwards, after six months. And so here are the results.
I tried to make this test as accurate as possible, that's why I used exactly the same pick uh, for recording all of the samples. But there is a human element, like maybe I put some more gain uh, on the third and uh, fourth months, and that's why I didn't pick uh, the strings as hard, and uh, in the end uh, it sounds slightly differently. But if you compare the first day where I put fresh strings and uh, the last day, I don't hear any much of a difference. And that's why I made another test. Basically, I put one string that uh, was uh, fresh from the package and another string that uh, I used uh, six months uh, for practicing. And there is another thing that you have to keep in mind. We have uh, three strings that are plain strings. And the three lower strings that uh, are wounded strings. And basically all the sweat and dirt comes in between the windings of those strings. And uh, that's why uh, it kills the sound of the strings of the lower strings first. And as you can hear, well, I guess the lower strings uh, don't sound as clear and bright as they used to sound. While uh, plain strings uh, do still have uh, their clarity. And that's why I made one test for the wounded strings and another test for the plain strings. For this guitar and for the guitar that wasn't played for six months. <laughs> And in conclusion, what can I say? It does take a lot of time and effort to kill the elixir strings. As you can hear, you don't uh, notice much of a difference in a recording if you play the fresh strings or the strings after six months of using uh, them. But uh, for my feeling, those uh, strings uh, feel like they are worn out and they uh, have to be changed in the near future. So, if I practice at home, I probably would uh, keep it, but if uh, I have to make some serious uh, records, I would probably change uh, the strings. As for the guitar, 
it was never played, well, it uh, it keeps uh, its sound uh, exactly the same after six months uh, uh, after I put the new fresh Alexi strings on it. And I hope this video was somehow useful for you. And if it hits 20,000 views, I do exact the same test with the bass strings. But this time I'll uh, try them over one year. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and keep on rocking!